look at that. Today I'm just out on a relaxed morning fishing trip. I've only got half the day. I've driven quite a while, about three hours to get here, and it's gonna be three hours back. So I've gotta leave here at about 12 or 1 p.m. to get back in time. I'm gonna be doing a bit of euronymphing on a small stream. It's getting up to spawning time. The stream's about to close in about a month. There's lots of fish run up here from a lake. Uh, big rainbows and big browns. The fishing can be really good at times and sometimes you can struggle so it's still fairly early i've seen a few fish around already in the river hopefully i can get a few fish i'll also try and share a little bit of information about your nymphing and my setup and how i do things and stuff like that so just quickly about the setup i'm using for your nymphing this is the Nano Nymph 10 foot 3 weight rod. It's designed for Euronymphing. It's got a really nice soft tip and a very strong butt. Don't mistake these 3 weight rods for very light rods. It's very strong in the butt and probably behaves more like a 5 weight when you're fighting fish. It's uh, quite capable of landing some really big fish. Then for the reel, I've got the carbon sensor reel from I Love Fly Fishing with a Euro fly line on there. What I like about this reel is that it is a very smooth drag. And it, with the Euro line, it doesn't slip out. Um, it would possibly slip out with a mono rig. So if you're fishing a mono rig, you'd probably want a full cage reel like the GST Euro Nymph reel. The full cage reel just prevents the very thin uh, nylon from slipping out. But these Euro fly lines don't slip out on these reels. So this reel's got a nice smooth drag, which is key for when you fish with light tippets, you want a smooth drag and the sensitive rod protects the light tippets. Um, it also balances this rod really nicely, works really well for me, quite happy with that. So that's my rod and reel setup. So the line and leader setup that I've got is a Euro Nymphing fly line from I Love Fly Fishing. To that fly line I have super glue spliced 12 foot of 2x duo sighter material from I Love Fly Fishing. From that 2x sighter I have tied about 6 foot of tippet with a triple surgeon's knot and then I have a dropper to one fly and a th about 30 centimeters and a dropper to my point fly. I would normally fish quite light tippet in the 4 or 5x sort of range but today I'm fishing 3x and a bit heavier just because there's a lot of snags and stuff on the stream and the fish tend to be reasonably big so I just want to be able to get them in quick and not risk losing too many of them. As my flies at the moment, I have a weighted egg pattern, a small formal clear drift soft egg, and a small pink pheasant tail variant with some CDC. That's just what I'm starting out with. I'm going to be trying various things till I find what works well. The reason I'm not going particularly natural is because it's almost spawning season. The fish in here are getting ready for spawning and aren't really that interested in feeding. So. Anyway, let's get onto the stream and start some fishing. Oh, let's see if I can get something out of this spot. I do often get one or two out of here. Nice thing about the Euronym thing is that you've got a very tight connection to your flies. And with that you generally get a fairly drag-free drift. There goes a big brownie. Whoa, that fish just rose. Oh, hooked him, hooked him. That is a good brown. He came from nowhere. I'm gonna keep him out of that snag. Ah, oh, gone. Okay, I've changed flies, gone a bit lighter, but I've gone double dirty with a squirmy worm and the egg pattern now. This fish in the back here seemed very interested in my flies before. Got him! Yes, yes, yes! A nice one. Looks like he took the egg. Yes. <laughs> really jumpy. 
Yeah, big bit egg, squirming worms trailing behind. Get them out quick, so I can get them out. Come on, don't go down into those logs. Stay away from that log. Nice fish. Oh, oh. oh, that's bigger than I thought. That's awesome. Great start to the morning. Lovely fish. Beautiful fish. Just look at that. Fat rainbow. Beautiful condition too. Lovely. So there's a few more fish in here still. And uh, I've just gone to two of those eggs because they didn't show any interest in the squirmy worm. I reckon I can get one or two more out of here. While I retie, they seem to have settled a bit. Yep, got him. Yes. Nice. See, this is the nice thing about the urinum thing. Delicate presentation of those quite light weighted eggs. Formal uh, Tekapo orange clear drift eggs. A small bead. And um, yeah, a couple of casts into it and got another fish. There's quite a few fish in this pool too, so if I can get this one to settle, get him back here, then it's always a chance for another one. And as I said, this these are quite big rainbows, and this urinumping rod has no trouble handling them, even though it's supposedly a three weight. I can hold them quite easily and land them quite quick. So yeah, don't mistake the urinumping rods for very light rods. They are a lot stronger than they look. Easy and quick, done. Another fat rainbow. Wow, the fish are in good condition. Yep. Lovely rainbow. Another beautiful one. Just look at that. Lovely silver rainbow straight from the lake. Good condition fish. Uh, let's get that away. So I've retied my flies. The fish destroyed the previous fly. And I've changed my GoPro battery. And in that process, I've hopefully rested this a little bit. It's just a delicate presentation. this urinum thing set up does. It's just those two light egg flies that pop in the water and then just perfectly drift down. There's that big brown again. Come on. I kind of looked at that fly. Is it? It's just cruising up and down the pool. Drift past it. The rainbow doesn't grab it. Yep, no oh, one. It's a strong fish, but it doesn't look that big. Oh no, it's pretty tough on the log there. It's small, but it's wily. It's not that small. It's very, very strong. Oh, it's wrapped me again around that log again. Okay, it's come loose. Trying to get it, it quickly. Okay. Maybe have a minute. Come on. Okay. Cool. Got it. Oh. Well, this one has a little bit of damage. It's not that big, but it was kind of hooked funny, so side of the mouth sort of thing, so that's why it was so strong. All right, let's get it away. There was a fish in the tail of this pool when I looked from above, but I think it spooked when I 
and down. I really never seem to catch anything in here. You know, I don't think I've urinated an insect before. That makes a difference. My success or lack of it. Ooh, oh, I got one. I thought it was a bottom. That is a solid fish. Oh, that is big. That is a big fish. It feels very solid. I that must surely be a brown. A very large brown. This is not going to go well. Up that drag and pray. It's running up the pool. Keep it out of the sides. Not successfully doing it at the moment. Yeah, it's a monster brown. Oh, it's a big brown. close enough for me to get a shot at netting it. Get back into the pool. Very little little of a fish this size. I wouldn't have any rod. Just trying to go into the snags. Oh, no. Busted. That was a big fish. Huge brown. Okay, well I've seen some fish in here. I can't see very well, but I know there's some fish in here. Yep. Hold on. I'm about to get them confused. Too big. Nice. No, no, it took the squirmy worm. There we go. It took the squirmy worm. Not a, not a big fish, this one, a little rainbow, a little bit skinny as well. Get this one away. Well, the morning started off really well, but it's taken a frustrating turn at the moment. I haven't been finding any more fish. I just tangled, lost everything, broke my leader in half, which now has a knot in it, which is going to mess up casting. I had to retie, got my fly hooked in my hand. Uh, quite painful. I do a bit of bush surgery to get that out. And yeah. So hopefully I can find some fish now soon because everything's gone a bit quiet and I just can't find anything and a bit of frustration. So a fish will lift my spirits for sure. Big browns in here. Let's see if I can get one of these browns to eat a fly. Moving around quite a lot. I don't know if it's seen me. It's right over that side. That's not close enough. Get 
sitting in a really impossible spot. fish again a nicely sighted fish too okay finally another fish full rainbow there we go i think it's been caught before there's so many fish in there it's ridiculous Ever. Finally got one. Oh, just to try and get it out. Oh. Took the egg. Oh, what a relief. A little, a little struggle. Nice fish. <laughs> well, quite a nice fish. Not super fat, but nice fish. And uh, yeah, good to get a fish. It's been a bit of a quiet spell, so let's get this one away. All right, well, there's so many fish in here. We've got to put a few more casts through here. Yep, all one. Nice, nice. So many fish in here. I had to have another go. Oh, Ooh, big jump. Put that fish in here. Lift his head out. Yeah, I figured I could get another one out of there. Lovely fish. Look at that. Good. I got another fish. Then the tripod fell over while I tried to show you the fish. I also don't think I was recording on the wide tripod shot before that. And now I've pretty much lost the last battery of the GoPro. It turned off at 50% battery. I'm not entirely sure. It's saying it's low battery. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, the batteries have run out very fast today and I'm not keeping up with the charging so I'm just gonna finish up I've only got an hour left so I'm just gonna film with this camera on the chesty cam so sorry about that but that's just how it's gonna be and see if I can get a few more fish before I have to finish up the next one up there's a big brown he's gonna have to be a bow and arrow cast I don't seem to be particularly interested in my flies Try something different. I hooked a fish, a rainbow. It snuck in there. Okay, going right underneath that. Oh, little rainbow snuck in there. I have the egg in front of the brown. Sneaky little rainbow, stole the fly in front of the brown. Try a woolly bugger, see if I can get an aggressive response out of it. Yep, got him. Oh, he ate that woolly bugger or the egg, I'm not sure which one, but this is a huge brown. 
and I kind of want him to go up. Let's see if I can chase him up stream. Alrighty, yeah. Kind of behaving at the moment. This is a big fish. Let's keep going up there. Don't want him to go down. Be patient and tire him out. Oh, I can lift his head. Let him in one go. Forgot he went under that log. Not the uh, method I would like suggest diving in onto the fish, but uh, he worked. Oh, he's eaten the egg as well. Not the woolly bugger as I thought. Right. Sort myself out. I've had a good view of this fish. Oh, I weighed it, but I'm still going to weigh the net. Look at that. That is a good brown. <sighs> nice. Very, very nice. Last look there. Awesome. Wow, what a fish that brown. Ended up being six and a half pound after I subtracted the net. Very nice. Really happy about that fish. And just want to try and find one more fish before I make my way home. So let's see if we can find another one. Another run here. Windy. Yep, got a fish. I'll bring him straight back down. Nice. Nice, got a fish. It's a little one. Little one though. Tiny little one. Little fish. Tiny little. Oh, oh, tiny little one. Oopsie, dropped him in there. Right, let's see if there's more in there. Yep, got one. Oh, it's another big brown by the look of it. I need to get it while it still does that crashing. Whoa, another big brown. Awesome. <laughs> My goodness. Well, I was really surprised that brown, I think. I, uh, I think I really surprised it there. Wow. What an awesome fish. Very, very happy about that. That's a lovely fish. Awesome. Last look. How awesome was that to get another big brown? Can't believe I got another one. I didn't actually see that at all. It was quite glary there and uh, took it and got it. Awesome. It's now 12 o'clock and I've got to head back. So, why not watch another video up here if you enjoyed that? 
this one's good watch it and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching this is the next one click it thanks <laughs>